Mark, the railroad just called. You're called tonight at 8 o'clock. I gotta go. I love you. I'll see you. My name is Mark Kramer. I'm a locomotive engineer. I enjoy my work. I like being out in the countryside. 4242. The biggest setback are the hours that we work. We have a very unconventional type of a work schedule. When I get a call any time, day or night, I have one hour and 30 minutes to get to the terminal where I work, and it can be very difficult at times. Looks like our first form B is at the river bridge. Okay. You know you're going to work at night. You know it's going to be hard to stay awake. Five times out, we should get out on our rest. For me, it can be more difficult because I have sleep apnea. Well, sleep apnea is a condition where a person is unable to get air into their lungs when they fall asleep. The tongue relaxes and falls back against the back of the throat and blocks off the airway. All of a sudden, you would just almost sound like you were choking. You would come to an abrupt stop, and I would do that quite often. The brain realizes that the person is not breathing. It wakes up just briefly, and then the person is able to get the tongue out of the way and able to get air in and out. Changing channels, Fred. This causes fragmentation in your sleep and causes the person to be sleepy and tired during the daytime. It's very painful to try to stay awake without any rest. Some of the more serious complications of sleep apnea. Lack of alertness, lack of concentration, lack of focus. There's about a seven-fold increased risk of motor vehicle accidents. I did nod off one time in the last 33 years. I nodded off on the interstate and did one of these on my way home, and it was scary. And I thought, well, you know, there is a problem here with my rest. I better get this checked. So I went to an all-night sleep study, and I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. Once I found out what sleep apnea does to your health, I felt like I have to combat this. I work in the busiest freight corridor in the world. Mistakes can't be made. We have to eliminate them. Consequently, our health insurance provided me with everything that I needed to deal with this sleep problem. We have a number of different types of treatment for sleep apnea, the most common of which is called CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure, where people wear a mask at night and prevents the airway from collapsing. Mark, the railroad just called. You're called tonight on a cold train. The first night that I wore the CPAP air machine and slept all night, the next day when I woke up, I said to myself, this is what it's like to sleep all night. This is wonderful. I felt like a million dollars. I couldn't believe that I could ever feel that way. I felt youthful. I felt like Superman. It was just, it was great. And so ever since that night, I've used the, the CPAP air machine every night when I go to bed, and it's improved my health. It looks like you got a yellow flag, 40. And it's also made my life less stressful because I'm more rested. Our company wants us to be rested when we come to work. I bought another CPAP air machine, and I keep that up at my hotel at my away from home terminal. Never be afraid to ask for help. Our job, our safety all depends on how rested we are. It's very important.